This one here, it says factorize these polynomials. This is exactly opposite to what we did into the previous question. In previous question, we already had a factor and we had to expand that. Here, we have expanded format and we have to bring it back to the factor. If I write this identity as x plus y plus z whole square, it gives me x. Now, if you take this up, 2x square, 3y square plus 3z square and then 2xy, 2yz, 2xz. But the difference in this and this is we have all these terms here positive. We have two of the terms here negative. In that case, out of x, y, and z, we need to take at least one of the terms as negative. I said at least one of the terms should be negative. And at the most, two terms should be negative. If I take y as negative, in that case, x, y will go negative. I need to keep x and y both as positive, keeping in view that I am taking one of the terms as negative. If I take two terms as negative, I can take x and y both as negative and I'll take z as positive. Since I'm taking only one term as negative, in that case, if I take x or y, any of them as negative, this will go negative. So I'll keep x as positive, y as positive, I'll take z as negative. Let's write it. 4x squared can be 2x squared 9y square can be 3y square and 16z square can be negative 4z square. I have taken z as negative. Now I rewrite is this will come to 2x plus 3y minus 4z square which is 4x square plus 9y square plus 16z square negative 4z whole square gives you 16z squared positive plus 2 into 2x into 3y plus 2 into 3y into negative 4z plus 2 into 2x into negative 4z. Let's see what comes. This comes to 4 x squared plus 9y squared plus 16z squared plus 12xy plus minus minus this comes to 24yc plus minus minus. This comes to 16xz. This here and this entire polynomial is same. It means this can be written as 2x plus 3y minus 4z squared or we write it two times 2x plus 3y minus also. That will be the factorization for this polynomial. Alright? This one here. 2x square plus y square plus 8z square minus 2 root 2xy, 4 root 2yz and 8xz. 2x square can be written as root 2x whole square. y stays as it is and 8z square can be written as plus 2 root 2z square. 2 root 2 whole square will give you 2 into 2 is 4, root 2 into root 2, 2 will give you 8. The 2 root 2z square. Now, same problem. This is negative, this is positive, this is negative. In that case, out of x, y, and z, these three variables, at least one of them should be negative or at the most two of them should be negative. If I take x as negative and y as positive, x, y would be negative. If I take z also as positive, y, z will be positive and x, z would be negative, negative, positive, negative. So, negative root 2x as whole square. So, this gives me negative root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z 
square. If I expand this, I get negative 2x whole square plus y square plus 2 root 2z whole square plus 2 into negative root 2x into y plus 2 into y into 2 root 2z plus 2 into negative root 2x into 2 root 2z. This comes to root 2 square is 2, negative negative positive, so this will be 2x square, this is y square and this will be 2 root 2 square gives you 8, so 8z square. This will be positive negative, negative, this will be 2 root 2xy, here positive, this will be 2 into 2 is 4, 4 root 2 stays as it is, yz and this would be negative, 2 into 2 is 4, root 2 into root 2 is 2, 4 into 2 will be 8, this will be 8x, we came back on this exactly like this. It means this can be written as negative root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z. We have a square, so I can write as again negative root 2x plus y plus 2 root 2z. Make sure this x and z they are not in the root, they are out of the root. Alright?